जी भैया सो अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू डे फाइव ऑफ ऑफ दी रिफ्रेशर वन पार्ट टू वर्कशॉप एंड एज आई कैन सी मीनू दीदी नमस्ते मीनू दीदी नमस्ते दीदी जी नाइस वील लिसन टू योर यू नो एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑन दी असाइनमेंट फोर जी दीदी जी दीदी uh didi yesterday i mean it was i think uh, a very very profound uh, session the i mean in terms of the impact i think it was it was i i don't even have the right words to express didi because yesterday i found some of the basic uh should i call them assumptions or fundamentals which i had learned while growing up the manner in which we classify things and the manner in which we understand things that fundamental got challenged so did it throughout the evening even right even while i was sleeping i was only thinking about units that have consciousness and units that don't have consciousness i was so preoccupied with butterflies and insects and <laughs> Uh, dolphins and fish i mean i kept on thinking about what a very different way this is of uh, looking at the world and uh, had it not come from people i really respect and revere it would have been very difficult for me even to accept it so now didi coming uh, to the assignment Uh, yeah. about entertainment didi my uh, response is that entertainment is a very important part of education and development of right understanding if entertainment recognizes this role and uh, takes up this responsibility of developing right understanding in uh, while having a very light touch of humor maybe even uh, Uh, having fun then it is uh, fine but uh, the manner in which the entertainment industry has developed today uh, the basic uh, responsibility it has taken upon itself is of creating confusion so uh, uh, in uh, as it is standing today i feel that entertainment industry requires a major leap of evolution so that it can understand its uh, original role of becoming a side arm of education and um, didi for a victim of crime my response was that punishment is a very temporary measure which uh, might be needed very very immediately however it is not a permanent measure because uh, in in the long term the only option is that uh, we develop right understanding so that everybody starts taking decisions aligned with their natural acceptance when that happens there will be no crime didi this was my response and uh, uh, can you please uh, okay now coming to uh, c part didi yeah this was again very interesting and uh, yes i do give instructions to the body and uh, there are times when the body is sending me messages in the form of sensations for example i am sitting in the class and uh, i feel like uh, eating something now obviously i can't eat because i am taking the class so at that time i choose to ignore those uh, sensations so there is interaction between self and body in the form of information didi this was my understanding and uh, exploration from yesterday ji 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 so didi nicely uh, looked into and uh, wherein uh, a lot we need to look at where uh, very many industries in in our school system are uh, are existing and are uh, playing their 
their role. Yes. So uh, I've well said that with right understanding, if if uh, the the agendas or if the uh, if we look at the whole system with right understanding, that will uh, that will be the best way to put forward in the society. So nicely placed, Didi, and uh, with respect to the C part of our uh, assignment, Didi. of the assignment, Didi. this is also well taken, Didi. And the more we look at it, the better uh, uh, are we able to observe our uh, body and the better uh, it is uh, observed and established that uh, that uh, self is uh, central to human existence. Nice, Didi. Very nice, Didi. You're doing a lot of self-exploration, I must say. Oh, Didi. And very actively <laughs> participating. <laughs> Yesterday, Didi, I mean, when Kumar Bhaiya said that if you want to understand the world outside, you have to and look inward. That was like something that shook me up totally. And <laughs> I mean, I'm still uh, in that... Uh, Trance, I can say. <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, when we start looking at things with clarity and uh, rightly said, you know, when we look inward, the outer world becomes more uh, transparent to us and more clear to us. Didi. That's nice. That's really nice, Meenu Didi. And we can see that your participation in the whole... Uh, system of volunteering and activities is equally equally in the right uh, with right a lot of right understanding and uh, and you able to look into it and share things equally that's also important uh, often when we look at uh, uh, you know various aspects on our own mm -hmm. and are able to put forward then so many of us as co-explorers uh, the 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 awareness is developed. That's nice. Didi. Did. That's very nice, Meenu Didi. Thank so, you. Welcome to day five of the uh, workshop. And uh, I think we'll be able to hear many more today. Did. So let's hope. G Didi. Thank you, Didi. Uh, so let's uh, hear from some more of our uh, participants about uh, uh, what are their takeaways and when they looked at the uh, assignment, uh, uh, what all could be uh, looked into and would like to share. So, Dr. Seema Patel, Didi, Seema Ji. Namaste, uh, Namaste. Uh, Good morning. And uh, yes, uh, as far as uh, yesterday's session was uh, really amazing because there was so much of interaction and everyone was, you know, coming up with, especially when we were trying to figure out, you know, as to in which order we will have the, uh, you know, uh, whether uh, fish and, uh, and uh, even, uh, you know, butterflies and insects, whether they have a brain or they don't. And I wondered, maybe our science is not so developed, you know, that we have been able to reach and then there were others who were exploring, but they have, they respond to sensations uh, so, so it was uh, really like, you know, it was like one by one, I could feel that we were all, you know, working on it and uh, trying to come to some kind of conclusion. Uh, and even a revelation which came to me yesterday, which I shared, which was that uh, fish, uh, uh, like normally in our diets, uh, you know, I have often wondered that uh, fish is acceptable uh, to a lot many, like even in Brahmins, Methli Brahman, and even in amongst the Bengalis, fish is acceptable even if they are uh, vegetarians. So I wondered, and yesterday I thought, okay, if fish does not have to come in the animal order, then it's okay because they, they don't have, have sensation. Or for that matter, even eggs when, you know, some people... I have this concept that uh, eggs which are uh, not, you know, through the, uh, which are like, you know, through the artificial process because there's no life in it. So it's okay to take it as a form of diet and as a form of protein. So yesterday's uh, session was really amazing and I shared it with my daughter also. And uh, 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 I had some confusion, you know, regarding the section C of the assignment, uh, which was, you know, uh, the... Uh, the body response 
like i was not really sure uh, how because whatever was put in the uh, question was again and put in short print after that so i was really not sure how to go about it but then i did give an example and i looked into it which is like you know during uh, the labor pains of my first delivery uh, first child delivery um, i was first of all you know because it's a very new experience so i uh, what i did was i uh, first read about it a lot and then during the pains uh, when it came uh, i started to focus on my breathing and at the same time consciously instead of you know going in a state of panic or anything i consciously willed my you know sent messages to my body saying that you know it's not paining it's okay and my husband was laughing all throughout he was like all the time you were just chanting it's not paining it's not paining so i said yeah but that helped so it was like consciously i was trying to you know just uh, tell my body say and signals to my body that it's okay it's just part of the body process and uh, this is nothing to panic about and uh, thereafter you know and then of course so that the child i was also concerned uh, that the child is also safe enough and not so much under stress uh, by my distress so uh, that also had to be looked into so i really at that point of time you know when i relate to that i feel that uh, this body uh, i mean the self sending signals uh, to the body uh, and uh, thereafter controlling it in a way uh, or for that matter while doing the assignment uh, i also thought you know like jesus christ when he was on the crucifix uh then he actually people say he went in a trance so as to avoid that pain which was you know as he was being nailed and things like that so this i i don't know whether <laughs> that's the way it should have been looked into but these are just some explorations which came to me while i was attending uh, attempting the sign thank you the ah uh, nice seema ji it's good to see that uh... and the example uh, is quite interesting uh, it uh, where where uh, many of uh, our participants are concerned uh, uh, it's good to see that you are able to look at it with so much of clarity even uh, when uh, maybe the content uh, that uh, the workshop is taking forward uh, was not really uh, you were not really aware of it but aware of it in your own way so that's uh, really interesting to hear this particular example and all the more uh, uh, welcome to the workshop and uh, the day 5 has uh, a lot for each one of you to uh, express as a takeaway so nice thank you and any other part of the assignment that you would like to reflect on no the, the others were all like okay like be um, as uh, expressed by minudi the i feel the entertainment industry is a very good medium you know to uh, reach out to people it's if if they do it in a very uh, with the right understanding and in a holistic manner it is something that uh, uh, as shared earlier that i want to do this with the village children uh, in uh, over here that uh, share contents uh you know so that which would be as a part of entertainment uh but you know at the same time uh getting them to see the point of you which we or you know uh the the line of thought to think inwards or uh this whole thing of harmony in society and coexistence with nature so this is something that uh, the entertainment industry in a way if if they produce that kind of uh, content uh, then that can also be used in a very positive way not the way it, right now it's only solely for uh, you know how many uh, how much money they will make in the box office or things like that uh, though some of the movies are coming with very good content uh, with very good messages uh, but i think on the uh, overall in the larger picture they should do more ji fine nice thank you very nice thank you nice uh let's uh, hear from dr uh, sunil kumar ji 
गुड मॉर्निंग या गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन जी होप एम ऑडिबल परफेक्टली ऑडिबल या थैंक यू थैंक यू सो द सेशन येस्टरडे दे टॉक अबाउट एसेंशियली हार्मनी इन सोसाइटी एंड हार्मनी इन द नेचर though uh, we have discussed about these proposals earlier in the refresher 1 and the introductory program of the uhv and further in the sip of the students as well as uh, uhv 2 to the second year students uh, now yesterday sessions actually were more interesting than uh, all those uh, previous workshops that is what i feel so uh, specifically with regard to the assignments which were which was given last day all those questions were actually thought provoking i spent much more time actually i usually i finish the assignment by the previous day itself say by 8 o'clock in the night or by 10 o'clock in the night but uh, this time i could finish it only uh, today morning so i left something for today morning because i thought i need more exploration upon such things so i finished the, that though that assignment by today morning only and it submitted with regard to the questions uh, regarding the entertainment industry so it was nicely pointed by the previous speaker previous co explorer so i don't need uh, i think uh, i have nothing more to say with regard to that but one point is that uh, the responsibility of the uh, industry is to be pointed out here in establishing uh, rather nurturing the harmony in society it is very important so it's like a social gathering where you have a program a common program is followed by people so there uh, the messages which are sent through the kind of industry whatever it is let it be uh, cinema let it be some other kind of uh, program whatever it is that should be enriching the society and that should lead uh, people to a common goal rather than or more than making money out of it then the, for the victim of crime uh justice is to punish the culprit that question why don't you talk about punishment in the society so if punishments uh, are there when I mean, they are established uh, there to establish right understanding and right feeling and harmony in the society then the society could have been fearless through such act- actions but punishments actually make the society to fear more than than the other way so uh, justice as we know is a recognition of the distinct feelings in oneself and uh, and the other uh, with right understanding and right feeling so if justice is established in the victim and the culprit crimes would reduce in that case but that is we have a long way to go for sure on the other hand punishments cannot ensure settlement of crimes hence uh, it is good to reduce punishments to the extent possible but we have we can leave the rest to the law of practice we cannot say uh, we have to we can jump to a very good uh, society on the next day it takes time so likewise i can uh, relate to other questions also with regard to my experiences and the experiences of others so much disparity in the society so there, there are uh, people who are, who have and who have not things so the gap between the rich and the poor are, are, are expanding things like that so this also is due to uh, lack of uh, right understanding and uh, right understanding with regard to what is prosperity so if we have a right understanding of what is prosperity we would uh, feel like sharing things with others and the gap between the rich and the poor would come down for sure so the 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 proposals of the uhv and the country of the uhv are helping it in a great way for sure so uh, because of time limitation i don't uh, go to the other questions i'm straight away going to the uh, section b of the assignment in which the we have to uh, relate harmony in the society if uh, they are established by the disease which uh, i have made on the first day yeah i can see that many of the uh, desires are meeting the family some of them are uh, ensuring the harmony in the individual level some of them are ensuring the harmony in the family level some of them are directly ensuring the harmony in the societal social level and some of them uh, with regard to nature also but if i ensure a family uh, say harmony in the individual or family level that in turn ensures i can see that that in turn into ensures uh, uh, harmony in the society as well as nature because uh, it is a direct consequence that is in a, in a brief which i can say regarding assignment uh, part b because it is a long list so i cannot go to the entire list for sure with regard to the uh, say third segment i thought for a while because the question was i mean i read the question please a couple of times or more to and uh, spend some time upon that finally i realized that uh, some of the interactions uh by instructions which were given to the body 
by my cell were not naturally acceptable and uh, they resulted in unhappiness in the past. However, I learned to correct such interactions through my right understanding. Uh, the instructions for health routines, for example, professional work, for uh, example, spending quality time with family and friends, controlling speeches and actions, etc. They are now being practiced through the right understanding and right feeling. Further, further self-exploration uh, shall fine-tune my interaction with my body. But of course, there are sensations which are uh, returned back by the body whenever I give some uh, interaction or instruction to the body. Uh, they are now being controlled. So if I follow every sensation, that may lead uh, to sometimes unhappiness. So I have to control uh, those kind of sensations. And uh, following my natural acceptance, that's very important. And establishing harmony at all the four levels of being. We usually consider, uh, we usually uh, turn away by the events, right? But that is not correct. So the universal principles of uh, the universal human value program, they have to be followed and uh, even should not turn away your uh, right understanding or right feeling. This is, these are my uh, few comments with regard to yesterday's uh, uh, say meetings. Thank you very much. Gee, uh, it, it, it's nice to see that you're doing, taking a lot of time into self-exploration and uh, uh, place nicely that justice ensured in the society would uh, develop a better understanding amongst all the members present in the society and henceforth the, the, the crimes and the crime rates uh, could be looked into and uh, uh, there will be no crime if in case we are all able, each one of us are able to look at it with clarity. Nice. And uh, with respect to the section C also, uh, nicely taken by you. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. G. And Dr. Meena. Dr. Meena Sundriji. If I'm able to reach out to you. Uh, maybe Ravin Bhaiya. Ravin Kumar Raut Bhaiya. RP Bhaiya, I think I'm not able to reach out uh, to... Maybe, uh, you are audible. Okay. Okay, fine, Bhaiya, fine. Uh, Raveen Bhaiya, if I'm able to reach out to you. Ji. Na so, namaste. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. 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 Ji, Bhaiya. Namaste, actually. So, actually, uh, I have not suffered, no, I am not so, uh, I was clearly out of uh, the fever and cough, so just uh, okay. I I am attending uh, the session and with the uh, with the, uh, all the precautions. Ji, uh, nice. So Bhaiya. it's good uh, uh, to listen the the sharing of others. Nice, 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 Bhaiya. Okay. So maybe we'll be able to listen to some more of our our uh, participants our co-explorers who are here with us. Ji, it will be good. Uh, we could not reach out to Meena Ji. Somehow, uh, either we were not audible. Ji. Sunita Ji. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning, Sunita ji. Good morning. Uh, really yesterday's uh, sessions were very interesting, especially the last session, session four. Uh, it was really very thought provoking and interesting. We did not know actually, in fact, I did not know that uh, nature had so many uh, intricacies and complexities in it. But still, it was nice. And um, my key takeaway in all the other days as well as yesterday was that first I have to work out everything in myself only. And uh, what actually I find is um, uh, when I was uh, observing this um, assignment or doing the assignment yesterday, I saw that uh, in that uh, assignment part B, 
where uh, the list of desires which i had uh, given on my first day uh, they were not the only list i have so many desires but i had listed only 10 i think so um, yes um, i think that uh, most of them they lead to the harmony in society and nature because my first and foremost desire always is that i should uh, keep myself healthy my family members healthy and my environment clean that is always my first and foremost desire so i found but still there were many which were just uh, maybe limited to uh, only my individual self um maybe to uh, just make myself more comfortable or something like that. and um, uh, another thing uh, i just uh, uh, wanted to know that uh, this uh, entertainment question in assignment section a uh, that uh, actually from my side uh, entertainment uh, it is written that is an important part, part of life uh actually when we think of entertainment we think it uh, just to give a sensual pleasure to our mind or body i think so if it uh, aims at uh, building up a right understanding or a right feeling then it is important but otherwise uh, if it is just uh, for any gross uh, requirement just like sensual pleasure Uh, so i don't think it is important and usually what we find that entertainment nowadays it just gives a momentary pleasure uh, but we are all aiming at continuous uh, state of happiness so regarding that uh, we should modify our form of entertainment that is what i think am i correct didi ji so it's good self exploration Yeah. and uh, each, even the participants earlier could see that uh, the industry being important and yet uh, when run with right understanding uh, would do better would do good to the society as well yeah. good nice thank Jee. you thank you ji maybe we'll be able to hear geeta didi before we go into the money or anything didi regarding the section c part uh, if you would like to share section c actually i observed for some time maybe around half an hour and i found that um, i am giving instructions to my body for those things which i am thinking important actually uh, some of the things maybe uh, i am thinking that they are not important and i am keeping it that i will do it later um, yesterday i had some assignments uh, for my college <laughs> actually um some person was uh, to uh, leave the institute and i being the course coordinator i had to adjust his classes so i gave that first priority and uh, i had some other assignment which i kept to the back seat so yes i was giving those instructions to the body that uh, i have to do this work which is more important to me and um, uh, but each time when i was giving the instruction uh i was uh, feeling that uh, yes from myself i am passing some information to my body and uh, maybe sometimes the body was passing some information to me no you are tired or something like that <laughs> you stop here but no work is uh, necessary so i have to continue i was feeling like that i don't know whether i have been able to explore this correctly or not Uh, but uh, i would like to hear something more from you didi regarding this ji didi so if you are able to see that the body is tired yet the 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 self is giving you an instruction that this assignment is needed to be taken care of that's good that's fine yes madam nice <laughs> geeta didi ji geeta didi maybe we namaste didi a little from you <laughs> ji didi uh, sure didi sure didi even i don't want to miss interacting with you didi जी 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 दीदी माय क्वेश्चन दीदी डस लिजर्ड फॉल अंडर एनिमल ऑर्डर और बायो ऑर्डर दीदी बिकॉज आई डू किल लिजर्ड्स विद द स्प्रे दीदी इन माय वॉशरूम्स एंड ऑल सो यस्टरडे आई हैड दिस डाउट दीदी ओ मे बी मे बी वी हैव उमेश भैया विद अस उमेश भैया आर वी एबल टू टेक इट 
yet didi if we can look at it in, with the view of being it being an insect mm -hmm. so uh, and and correlated by self exploring mm. and we'll be able to look at it in with better clarity that that it's whether it's a part of the bio order or the animal order mm -hmm. and self with in case of lizards being mm. an insect mm. as we see right but lizards and all coming under reptiles no didi so i think it will fall under animal order so maybe it may be having a, a self also so i was feeling guilty didi <laughs> that's what didi <laughs> So let's do a bit of more self exploration on it, Didi. Hmm. Sure, Didi. Sure, Didi. Ji, 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 ji. Thank you, thank you, Didi. <laughs>